everyone, welcome back to Building on 16. Today, I'm going to talk about my new attachment for our tractor, and that is this County Line three point hitch auger. We have a handheld auger that we've been using to put fence, fence posts in and even use to drill a couple holes down to help if we're planting potted plants, uh, different types of shrubs, and things like that. But we decided that this is going to be a little bit easier on our backs and, and, and just in general uh, for digging any type of holes we need. We have a lot of things to plant. We are going to put a fence up near our entrance and that's going to be probably 10 to 12 posts that are gonna be in the ground. And I feel like this is going to be a lot easier to get those posts in the ground. So I have purchased a couple county line implements before and so far I've had good success with them. So I'm hoping that this one is going to be just as good for us as the rest of them have been. We purchased this and we decided to go with the nine inch auger. This particular um, post hole digger says that it, it works with a six inch, a nine inch and a 12 inch auger bit. So the 12 inch is enticing to me just because again, if we're going to put some three gallon pots of, of shrubs and things like that in the ground, that may help get the hole ready for us. I may still have to do a little shovel work, but we went with the nine inch for right now because it mainly going to be used for fence post. And then also, again, if I'm going to put a smaller, you know, plant in the ground, it's going to be in a three gallon pot to where I could probably just drill a couple holes, shovel out the rest. And it still makes a lot um, less work for me manually to do. Now I'm going to be running this post hole digger with my John Deere 3025 E tractor, which has about 18 to 19 um, horsepower to the PTO. That is minimum, or the minimal, I guess, for this particular one from what the specs say on it. But I feel like this tractor has, has always impressed me with being able to do more than what it's rated for. So I feel like we're not gonna have any problems um, digging these holes. Another nice feature that this post hole digger has, and the reason why I went with this one, is it has this these little red legs here that they'll attach right up into here and that makes a stand for it so when you're storing it or even when you are um, trying to load it up to the or hook it up to the tractor it makes it a lot easier because part of it's standing up and it's not trying to fall back and forth if you've ever tried to hook one of these up they can be very very stressful uh, if you, one, either don't have help or if you don't have the stands, which makes it nice. The second thing, and probably most of the postal diggers have this now, but this little arm here that you can reach from the cab of the tractor there, the seat, um, gives you this ability to line up your hole. I can move the auger bit from the seat of the tractor, which is nice. Um, my only experience with the three-point hitch auger was probably one from 1970, and that was a terrible experience. This one, just even hooking this up last night was a breeze. And I'm super excited to get this thing working. All right, well, I'm up here at essentially the front of the driveway. This is where the gate is. The driveway starts a little bit further up that way, but we put the gate in here because this is where the wood line starts. And today's project is going to be those boards right there and the boards right here on this trailer. We are going to put up a nice wood fence from here to here, and then we will put in a new gate eventually. But this is pretty close to the property line. That is my neighbor's truck and building right there. We have some uh, green giant Abravati's planted right there, and we are gonna tie all this in and wrap around with a nice wood fence. But today it's going to be about to see if that three-point hitch auger is going to do everything we need to do to get this fence put in. All right, everyone, we've got the tractor fired up. I've got the post hole digger in place, my first spot, first dig, county line, three point hitch, post hole digger, and we're gonna make our first run at it.
so the post hole digger did its job and we've got all our posts in at least on this side of the driveway there are a couple more that are going to go on the other side over there but the post hole digger did a pretty good job um, the only concern i may have is if my tractor has enough horsepower to really run this um, auger because once it bites it it sucks it all the way down until it's finished and then has to come back up and sometimes the tractor had enough horsepower to pull it back up and then sometimes it stalled it out so that's something i'm going to have to try to research and see if i'm doing something wrong or if it's just the tractor just doesn't have enough horsepower so yeah as you can see definitely has done some work today that's all the way at the top the thing that I'm most concerned or some I want to pay most attention to are the cutting teeth on these things. I learned a lot about those on my handheld and that if you let these get too far worn, almost like a lawnmower blade, uh, it's just not going to do anything. So with brand new teeth on it or blades, uh, they it did amazing as far as cutting through. And, and you can see, like I said, it really puts some wear on it. It's a little bit rounded. You can see right there. So what I'll do is I'll keep uh, an eye on that and put an edge on it. But yeah, did a good job. And again, for anybody who may uh, be in the market for a three-point hitch post hole digger, this is the county line and this is model number 602377. And it's the only one that I saw there, but online, I believe they have one more option for you, but pretty good auger. I'm, I believe I'm going to be happy with it. It's going to help out a uh, few things to learn with it, but that's, that's normal with everything new you buy. Well, that's going to wrap up this video on my post hole digger for my new fence. Um, we will finish this fence up and I'll try to give you guys an update on what that looks like, how that works with our, our gate for our driveway and all the other projects we've got in this little area right here. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Um, as always, consider hitting that subscribe button for us, the like button, and we will see you on the next one.